South Wales has hammered Queensland 38 to 6 to level the State of Origin series at one game apiece. Tom Trebojevic crossed for three tries and Josh Adokar scored twice in the Blues' 32-point victory in Perth. A sold-out crowd at Optus Stadium will witness to the first ever State of Origin match in Perth. New South Wales looking to send the series to a decider in Sydney with a win. It's gone to Tom Trebojevic. Does he get the ball down? I don't think so. Brad Fittler made seven changes to the New South Wales side for game two. Tom Trebojevic, one of the players that came into the team. Penalties from James Maloney and then Jake Trevojevic gave Queensland good field position. The Maroons' game plan to target the out-of-position Jack Whiten, paying off early. Chambers got a check in running. It's been dead. There still might be a penalty here. Bunker ruling Whiten impeded Chambers from getting to the ball. Queensland awarded a penalty try, but the mood of New South Wales fans was lifted shortly after. For Frizzell, he's over. That's an origin try. Heavy rain started to fall, but it didn't put Maloney off his kicking game. It's going down. Oh, I think it's a 40-20. It is a 40-20. The wet weather ruining a golden opportunity for the Blues to score. And the slippery conditions continue to cause headaches for New South Wales. Oh, he's put it down cold. New South Wales started to dominate possession, and they looked destined to cross for their third try. Josh Forward. comes around, and it's a forward pass. James Tedesco then made a break out of dummy half. Now Blues up by 12 at the break, but they came out for the second half a man down after Nathan Cleary was ruled out with an ankle injury. Queensland coughed up a penalty goal to start the second half and they looked to be frustrated. That's dangerous. Yeah, yep. Dangerous, late, high. Maloney converted the resulting penalty goal and despite the wet weather, the Blues were playing some pretty footy to watch. New South Wales were on a roll. He puts a rubber in for Ado Carr. And Ado Carr gets another four-pointer. Queensland have gone on to claim a series victory the past seven occasions after winning game one. But if they're going to do it this year, they will have to win in Sydney. Ado Carr a double. The Blues hammering Queensland 38-6, to sending the series to a deciding game three. Luke Shipway, Sky News. And Prime Minister Scott Morrison was watching on from the stands. Fox Sports News reporter Josh Garlop caught up with him after the game. I think it's great for the series too. It'll be a huge decider in Sydney. And uh, New South Wales tonight were just devastating. They, they came out with their game plan and they, they stuck to it and um, had a lot of discipline. The defence was as strong as their attack. So, um, you know, this is the the elite level of the game. It was on display tonight. It was great for Perth too. I mean, to have a record crowd for rugby league here in, in, in Western Australia at this stadium was just a, you know, a great display. Uh, you got around to some of the players uh, here. What, who did you speak to and what was your message to them? Oh, commiserations, obviously, but, uh, you know, um, as, as a blue, you know, we never... <laughs> Queensland always comes back, even at half-time, being ahead as we were, you know, you're never confident and... Uh, but uh, the, the, the Blues tonight, was, it was their night. They'd, they'd come to play and they'd come to win and they, and they took it away. But um, what was great to hear from all the players on, on, in both sheds tonight, the, the, the way that people in Perth responded um, to the game this week and really got in the atmosphere and, and the fact that the NRL even had to, you know, um, calm sales of local tickets to ensure there was still enough tickets for people coming across the Nullarbor, I thought was tremendous. So it's a great successful night for the code.